Namaskaram. Today's question is coming from Mamta. How do you maintain your mood all the time? Uh, <laughs> so I don't think I'm maintaining my mood per se. I really don't have a mood. No. Or maybe I have mood all the time. <laughs> or different moods all the time. So there's no one mood. I think what Mamta is really asking is how do I maintain stability maybe? It's because maybe in her experience of uh, being with me, she found some sort of stability within me. Maybe that's what she's trying to say. So, I mean, if I'm like changing my mood for every little thing, it could mean one of two things. Either I'm reacting too much or I'm responding, responding with absolute clarity. One of those two things are happening. So I know I'm not either at the moment. <laughs> I'm, abs- I'm not reacting all the time. Nor am I 100% in responsible also, you know, I'm still, I'm still there and thereabouts. So, in that context, I think she's just referring to the stability that she found when she's uh, been with me in some way. So, there's nothing to maintain, it's just the consequence of your practices, to be honest. It's, it's all inner engineering that changed everything for me. I've said this uh, enough times in the video that Inner engineering is not just about Shambhavi. It's not about, I mean, it is, it really is, but at the same time, the core of inner engineering lies in the five tools that Sadhguru offered. You just continuously practice it. It is a painful process, but initially it will be painful. And initially it takes a lot of practice to get used to it, using them. Once you get to a certain stage, it's like cliff only, you know, you want to climb, climb, climb. Once you get to the top, you go to the other side. You still have to travel, but it's going to be a little downhill, and then you'll face another trip. You'll come back down. So it's not going to be easy, but it's not going to be tough either. It's just how you make out of it. But you just have to understand that it is going to be like that. <laughs> Once you understand that, you don't know whether you're going up or down. So you keep the same level of awareness at all times when you're practicing the tools. So sometimes. The consequence will be pleasure or happiness. Uh, sometimes the consequence is, you know, misery in some way. But you are looking at everything the same way. So it really doesn't matter. So it's, yeah, you're not maintaining. It's just a consequence of your practice. Whether it's painful or happy, it really doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter as long as you're practicing. But you just do it. <laughs> you just do it all the time. You just be that way all the time. And you enjoy that being. And that is the mood to be. <laughs> I hope this answers your question. We'll take up another question tomorrow. Until then, Namaskaram.